my future used to look like one single obvious stream, unbending till the end of time. In an instant, you pulled me from that destiny and opened my eye to an explosion of infinite possible futures, streaking across space and time, altered and obliterated by the smallest force of will. What I mean is, you changed my life, and then I changed your life, and now we change our lives. I call this the dance of the rattlesnake. Into my eyes, what do you see? Once at my family barbecue, my uncle cut off his ear with a steak knife to emulate Van Gogh because he's like all artistic, but he chickened out and only cut half of it off and it was like hanging there. It was so gross. I swear, I think some of it ended up in my salad. Oh, I knew it! <laughs> Ariel, stop talking crazy. I gotta see him again. Tonight, Skittle knows where he lives. If I become human, I'll never be with my father or sisters again. If only I could make him understand. I just don't see things the way he does. Dead? No, look! He's breathing. He's so beautiful. You guys close your eyes and don't open them until I say so. If you do, your heads will explode! <laughs> that reminds me. So I was in the grocery kingdom last Sunday. Because of uh, free samples, you know. They had these like shrimp cocktail dealies, so good. I was sucking the sauce off them and hucking the shrimp at the ceiling. I kept going back for more and more samples. I could not stop myself. Thanks, peeps. Wait, was that a diss? I guess I have been going for a new sound this time. Yeah, I'm kind of taking a break from water right now. I don't want your garbage. I want you to leave! That wasn't strength, that was weakness! Don't you know anything, Steven? Water? Seriously? Ugh. At first you think, oh, it's a fling, whatever, they're drunk, it's a party. But then he puts his hand on the small of her back exactly the way he used to do to you. It means, I've got you. And when he did it to you, it made you feel safe. And you realize, he will never do that to you again. I tried to make it work long distance, but it was hard. Eventually I just thought, this is stupid. Yeah, my day was good. But it's a nice night, huh? Look, it's really none of my business, kid, but um, who cares what these creeps think, you know? They don't decide who you are, you do. You are who you choose to be. I'm sorry about yesterday. I, uh, I'm usually... <laughs> not like that? <laughs> right. <laughs> don't worry, kid. Look, it's not my style to report a guy to the authorities. I'm gonna have some coffee. What do you want, some uh, milk or uh, what, milk? My name is Klaus, and I'm an alcoholic. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong meeting. <laughs> Trust me, you don't Good. want that. <laughs> you don't want that. Okay, well, sorry, I'm just gonna go murder mom. I'll be right back. Did I ever tell you guys about the time I waxed my ass with chocolate pudding? <laughs> it was so painful. Where is everybody? Oh, they're gone. They're gone like a fart in the wind. <laughs> I settled on a company dental plan. It's called The Tooth, The Whole Tooth, and Nothing But The Tooth. Oh, I never developed a signature. I find them unnecessarily ostentatious, but I can print my name legibly. I never just say anything. I choose my words very carefully with an eye towards precision and expediency. I'm surprised you haven't noticed that. Asking him politely to not come back. Actually, that's only one way. I apologize for misleading you about the number of ways. I have found it to be an above-average experience. Please forgive me for getting emotional. Yeah, I'm just messing. Okay, one revived daughter, coming right up. Whoa, check out the balls on new kid. Changing David's Tinder profile, of course. Hello, Bonquisha. Yes, I will swipe right. I hope you learned that before today, you only had one little bastard to deal with. But now you've got three. Let's go, guys. I'll take you to our tent. Hey, good for you. You're starting to catch on. All right, guys. Our first attempt to bust out of this godforsaken hellhole didn't work. 
But tonight's gonna be different. And that was amazing. Just like back in college. I've missed you, dude. Hey, at least you didn't place last. You gotta stay positive. You'll do better next time. You should know that practice makes perfect. I see a lot of promise in you. I'm not gonna lie, that was terrible. That was a good warm-up. Well, it wasn't the worst. Nice date, my dude. Just like old times, huh? Bro, that was perfect. Hey, I admire your hustle. You need to improve on your form. Let's go to the judges. Not at all. Without the advances of modern science, death was everywhere in the Victorian era. And yet funerals were major social functions. Hmm. Victorians were obsessed with mementos of their loved ones, even going so far as to take elaborately staged photographs of their dead relatives. Huh. The minutia of mourning was so complex that there were set periods of grieving that were deemed acceptable based on who is in your life as past. Now, we don't have any of that. If you lose someone, you end up feeling lost yourself because we have no modern equivalent of those formalities.